What the fortune teller said to me made me roll my eyes. I'm not saying you're Cleopatra, but somehow you share her story and are connected. This is the mindset that we're dealing with. I mean, look, it's not too surprising, honestly. I really wanted to move on from this thing, but she had to reply. First and foremost, thanks to you guys, we completely ratioed Netflix. The trailer is doing even worse than back when I made the video. She's obviously trying to spin this as a race war, that Egyptians are racist. Because you seem to lack comprehension and reading skills, or you just want to turn everything into a race war because... Why admit that you're wrong or that you're pushing an agenda? I'll simply highlight the issue that Egyptians have with your quote-unquote documentary. Adele James, the Cleopatra of this show, has come out with the steel solid defense of if you don't like it, don't watch it. Well, if you don't like my reply, don't hear it. As simple as that. I remember as a kid seeing Elizabeth Taylor play Cleopatra and I felt the image was not right. Was her skin really that white? With this new production, could I find the answers about Cleopatra's heritage and release her from the stranglehold that Hollywood has placed on her image? I will reply to the brainlets that have been asking why didn't I respond to the Elizabeth Taylor movie. Just give me a moment. So you think Hollywood has a stranglehold on her image? Not the fact that she's a real fucking person with statues and coins of her actual face. No, she doesn't fucking care and she is actually admitting that this movie isn't true to history. Yeah, she literally admitted that this is a reimagining while calling it a documentary. If you want more proof from the actual director of this documentary that she's full of shit, here's a real quote by her. We need to realize that Cleopatra's story is less about her than it is about who we are. Now again, if you're wondering about Cleopatra's family tree and how she can or can't be black, just Google it. Just Google Cleopatra's family tree. This family has practiced so much incest that their family tree is a fucking ladder. And if you're too lazy to Google it, check my other video regarding this topic. But please, don't take my word for it. Take the word of Dr. Zay Hawass, who was the former Minister of Antiquities of Egypt, twice, by the way. Also, the director of excavation is at Giza, Sa'ara, Bahreya Oasis, and the Valley of the Kings. This is not just a random Egyptologist. He has been involved in several important archaeological projects. He led the search for the tomb of Cleopatra and Mark Antony on the premise of the Ptolemaic Temple near Alexandria. This is someone who has actually found coins of Cleopatra by himself. Now, if you want more proof that she doesn't actually believe this, she doesn't actually believe that Cleopatra is black, she doesn't think that she's making a documentary, check this quote. Now, to those of you who are complaining about the uh, response to the Elizabeth Taylor movie, do you guys know when the Elizabeth Taylor movie was made? And do you guys know when the internet was made? I was born even after that. I didn't even know that the Elizabeth Taylor movie existed before people kept hounding me about it. Here is my opinion. It's fucking whitewashing. It's not Egyptian. The same shit that I said the last video, but turn it into white. But at least, at the very least, this movie had the decency not to call itself a documentary. It's Eurocentric, but it's not calling itself a documentary, and it's not calling itself fact, it's calling itself fiction. At the end of this video, I just want to tell you to read a book by an actual Egyptologist, not just some guy you found on the internet or TikTok. Get out of your bubble and try to see for yourself. Maybe you'll learn something new, something different. I've actually tried to watch some of the quote-unquote proofs that people have. They aren't really proofs. Like, they're, they're as real as Atlantis is. If there is a groundbreaking discovery in that field that switches the argument to the other side, I'm ready to concede. However, all of the evidence points towards one side. Egyptians are real, Cleopatra was Greek. If you want to learn about black African leaders that actually existed, please check out my videos in the playlist. And that's the video. Rant is over. Bye.